I'm gonna start off this video by saying that I want to be a ninja, all right? I, I'm not ashamed to say that. I've always wanted to be some badass dude patrolling the rooftops of a city, fighting bad guys, you know, as everyone wanted to be when they were a kid. However, one day you just wake up and you talk to adults and, and you just sort of realize you can't accomplish any of your dreams and, and you can't be an astronaut or Indiana Jones or a ninja, but you can still dress up like one. Look, I've always been a good boy, right? You know, I, I have the classic fit. Some random Nike shoes, maybe some Converse's here and there, jeans, sometimes cuffed, a t-shirt, whatever fits the vibe of a day. You know, and, and the most important piece, the hoodie. You know, usually I, I have a blue one that I usually like. It's, it's quite, quite iconic, I must say. Um, but in all seriousness, my style hasn't changed drastically over the years, um, over the past few years anyways. You know, here and there, I try to change it slightly, but nothing crazy. You know, we ain't about to start a revolution out here or anything. You know, we ain't about to make any statements. Now, I'm going to preface the rest of this video by saying, you know, there's always that period where you have no idea what you're doing. Like, I found something that suits me, the good boy style, like I mentioned before. But, you know, before that, <laughs> I was that kid. You know, the one with the khaki shorts creeper hoodie. I was even rocking the dad shoes, you know? Sometimes it was, like, the dad jeans, you know? Um, and, and no hate if you wear those now, but, um, you know, man, I was, I was down bad. I belong on that, that, uh, Twitter page. Dude's down bad. However, I feel like I've had a sort of awakening, you know? Like, one day you wake up and you realize there is more than one style, and there is more than one color. That being said, I'm not like really big into fashion, nor am I like a fashion icon or anything, and I, I don't really want to be, <laughs> but I've recently reached the tip of the iceberg that is fashion YouTube, and honestly, it's just, it's, it's, it's whack, you know? I've never been one to buy really anything expensive, but some styles just look cool. You know, it all starts where just looking at different colors, you know, maybe the, the blue matches with the red, and there's different shades, but then before you know, bam, you're buying Supreme shit or acronym, and you're, you're stocking up on shoes, things that look cool. The thing about fashion is it's really expensive and too expensive for my healthy wallet. You know, it's like a water slide. Once you get on, you either have to enjoy the ride all the way down, or you're going to injure yourself getting off. You're going to injure something getting off. You know, in this case, it's your wallet. Now, keeping in mind that I've always wanted to be a ninja, I have some joggers, and them shits are comfy. You know, I like being comfy. I mean, who doesn't? I also like having pockets. Imagine having pockets and being comfy. Now, imagine how ecstatic I was when I found out that you could have pockets, be comfy, and look like a ninja. I mean, look at these guys. Come on, they look so fucking cool. Now, granted, don't say I didn't warn you if you get weird looks or the police arrest you when you try to walk into a movie theater. But streetwear, particularly techwear, is something that fascinates me you know like you can look like you're in the 80s again and have all sorts of fun colors that just make me feel warm and cozy and snuggly inside or you can look like you're from like blade runner you know or some shit like that's what's appealing to me about tech wear. sure we could talk about a whole bunch of different styles but why would you do that when you can look like a ninja or something now i'm not really up to date on all the trends and i don't really care if this is out of style but it looks really fucking cool like, if I saw someone dressed in minimalist style walking down an alley at night, I'm not really going to care or pay them much mind, you know? But if I see this guy, this guy, walking down the street, you can bet your ass I'm out of there. He's probably got some, like, shurikens up his sleeve or something, you know? I, he, that he's, you just know that he's going to hit me with that bungee gum or some shit. I also see these people on the internet just walking around with swords in their fill, like dog. Apparently, tech wear makes it acceptable to walk around with swords. Why would you not want to wear that shit? Like, dude, you could have, like, a duel in the street and it would be perfectly acceptable. <laughs> as long as you don't die, that would be kind of bad. Don't, don't, don't stab people, please. On top of all of that, I think the core of tech wear is that it's functional. You know, you have your, your cargo pants with, like, they're, they're like tapered cargo pants. They're like joggers and cargo pants at the same time. It's pretty sick. You know, it's not designed for one specific season. Since most of the style consists of windbreakers and other stuff. I mean, you'll, you'll probably be fine in the mild rain or something. You know, while those people in their vintage clothing are going to be shivering in the rain, we're just going to be chilling in our $2,000 acronym J1L GT Gore-Tex Pro Interlops jacket. Look, man, at the end of the day, I, I just want to look cool. 
and make people think that I'm like an urban ninja or something. But to each their own. I mean, if you want to dress in a creeper hoodie and khaki shorts, go for it. If you want to feel comfy, go for it. I don't know, man. I just thought this stuff looked pretty cool and wanted to talk about it for a little bit. No hate to anyone. You know, again, if you wear what you want to wear. Anyways, with that being said, if you made it this far, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you later. Have a good one.